Welcome back aliens, my name is Devin Reddy and in this video we'll try to deploy our first Java spinning application on AWS. Now to do this we'll be using EC2, we'll be using Beanstalk and we'll be using CoachStar. Now again when you talk about CoachStar is a new thing in Amazon Web, Web Services and it's an awesome thing. Now, in fact, I have already made video on how to deploy a Spring application on AWS, but that was only with the help of Beanstalk. Now, using CodeStar, you can actually make your work easy. Now, first of all, to do that stuff, you need an Amazon account. Again, in the previous video, we have talked about it. So you have to make sure that you have a AWS account. And once you have it, let's try to sign into the uh, management console. So when I click on that, you can see it will ask you for username and password. Okay, now when you click on sign in, uh, of course, when you, inter you enter your username, password and sign in, and it will open the window for you, the, the Amazon uh, console. Okay, now once you log in, you can see it will show you all the available service. Now again, this is not my first time of using AWS, that's why I'm getting a recently visited service. This is the services I'm using for my application. Uh, but then you can also, so you will get this option of all services. So you will get compute services, you will get developer services, you will get IoT services. Again, you, know, you might not use everything in one application, but then you can, uh, you can use whatever you want. Now, of course, we need EC2 for your virtual server. So if you want to deploy your application, you need a virtual server. So that will be provided by EC2. But then if you use EC2, you have to do lots of configuration by yourself. You have to specify what server you need. You have to install all the servers here. Uh, the, the Tomcat server I'm talking about. Otherwise, you can say Elastic uh, Beanstalk. What it will do is it will give you, it will, it will help you in deploying the application. It will take care of the servers you need and all those stuff, right? But the amazing part is this CodeStar. So in this thing, I'll be using CodeStar. Now, since if you're using CodeStar, that doesn't mean you're not using AC2 and Beanstalk. You are using that behind the scene, right? So if I click on this CodeStar, and again, you will you will get the true power of CodeStar once you once you see or once you run the application or if you make some changes in deployment in later videos. But uh, time being, imagine that it's the best thing available for AWS developers or Java developers. So you can see when I click on AWS CodeStar. So the the moment you do that, it will give you an option of creating a new project. So when you click on new project here, it will ask you for the project name and all the stuff. Again, this is my this is the project which I have created earlier. And since we are creating a new new project, remember this, every time you create a new project, that will create a new instance and a new instance will, it will charge you. Of course, when I'm making this video, this is not a free thing because I wouldn't be using one application. So if I keep that project for one hour, uh, I'm, the, Amazon will charge me for one hour, right? So let me just do that. So, so it's, I'm creating a new project. Now, the moment I do that, can you, can you see that you're getting so many options? We have an option of Ruby on Rails, we have an option of Java Spring, uh, we have Node.js, we have Python. So just name the technology, they have services for everything. You can create any application, you can deploy that on Amazon Web Service. You can get a static website, uh, you can create a Python website, I don't know, Python, they have so many options. Uh, but then in Java itself, so what I do is, if I select a Java application here, you can see in Java itself they are giving you five options. Now why these five options? So one is web application. The second one is web application but without Beanstalk. So one is with Beanstalk, second is without Beanstalk. The next two is web services, again with Beanstalk, without Beanstalk and you get Lambda. Again, Lambda is a different thing, you can, you can see that later. Then we want a web application, so we select web application, it will give you two options. Let's say first one because we want to use Beanstalk. I don't want to configure everything by myself. So click on this, it will ask you for the project name. I will say this is Telesco Demo, that's the project name I'm giving. Again, you can have any project name you want. I mean, which repository you want for Git? Do you want to use GitHub, which everyone uses, or you want to use Amazon own uh, Git service, which is code commit? Now, since we are using Amazon service, let's use everything of Amazon. Select this one and click on next. Okay, so that was code commit. Then, so it, it, it is giving you that pipeline. Can you see that we have the entire pipeline here? So this is a project, a code pipeline. Again, what is pipeline here? Is you deploy, you make a project, you deploy your project on the server, Okay, normally what you do is on, on Eclipse, so when you make a project, maybe any IDE, NetBeans, NetBeans, Eclipse, or IntelliJ, what you do is you write a code, you compile your code, you create a wire file, and then you deploy the wire file on the server. You don't have to do all those things. What you simply do is you create, you, you create a project, make the changes, and simply say commit. Now commit will uh, upload the project on the server. It will push the project on the server. The server, the Amazon service will build the project for you. 
it will test the project for you if you have written some test cases it will deploy your project on it on beanstalk you don't have to do it by yourself and it will also help you to monitor monitor the server amazing stuff right and after all these things let's create a project now while creating a project it will, it will ask you for the key if it if you have not done that you can create a new new key here otherwise i, I already have a key here on ec2 um, yeah, so I already have a key, otherwise it will give you the option of creating a new key. Let's say create project and the, the, the moment you do that, it will create a new project for you. It will take a lot of time, maybe uh, 5 to 6 minutes to set up the project. I don't know the exact timing, but it will take some time because you can see it says 0% complete. It takes, uh, it takes some time to uh, do that. But then after completing this, you will be getting your project on Amazon Web Service. It will be a default project. Again, the output uh, we'll see in the uh, maybe we'll, we'll see the output here itself so let me just pause the video for time and let it complete okay so as you can see the project is created and it gives you two options it says you must connect to your project repository before you start working on the code I guess we have done that let's see what connecting tools we have oh okay so uh, again we'll discuss about this later why do we need a connect connecting tool here right you can connect your uh, service with the help of Eclipse or Visual Studio or command line Let's discuss about this later. Let's go back to the project. And uh, okay, so once you got your project, this is how your project look like. Okay, uh, where do you find your link? Let's scroll up and oh, where's the link for the project? The application is not up yet. So you can see we have a source here. We have, so it is building the code and there's an application. So it is not, so it is building the application yet. It is not completed its task yet. So let's wait for some more time. Okay, finally, you can see we got everything set. So we got a source which is which is succeeded. Uh, we got a build and we got the application. Everything is succeeded. But how do you access your page, whatever we have created yet? Now, if you can scroll up, there's an option of application endpoints. Now, this is the endpoint for app for your website. So the the app which we have created now, if you can simply click on this, this is your first web app on on Amazon Web Services. It says, congratulations, you have just created a Java Spring web application. And that's why Spring Framework is so famous, right? Everywhere you, you by default get Spring Framework, right? So now question arises, how do you change it? Now, of course, we got our first web app. How do we make the changes? I don't want congratulations here. I want my own website name, Telescope. Uh, I want to say design and develop by Navin Reddy. And I want to change these things. How do I change it? Where do I get the source code? You might get the source code when you click on this code and you know you, you'll be getting the source option here and you can make the changes. But this is not how you do it, right? If you want to work on Java, you of course need an IDE. So what you will do is you will use an IDE, maybe whatever favorite IDE you have, but here we'll be using Eclipse. Now in Eclipse, we have to install a plugin and using that plugin, you can actually make the changes in the, in the project. And whatever change you make in the, in the Eclipse will reflect on your AWS server. In, a, in, in just you just have to push that's it don't have to build anything you don't have to uh, make a wire file nothing just make the changes and push that that makes sense right so in the next video we'll see how do you connect your amazon web service or aws code star with with eclipse uh, with, with eclipse and how can you push the changes so i hope you enjoyed this video where we have created our first web application on aws so that's it. Uh, in this, we'll see you in the next video. Till that point, like this video and do share this video with your friends. Thank you so much for watching.